about two weeks. Uh, you've seen some videos. I haven't made as many, but there are ones that I actually uploaded that I'd already made a while ago. So I was just trying to keep you entertained. I've been very sick, and it was a bad, mild flu, bad cold. I don't really know. I'm getting over it, and I feel very, very good now, and it's fine. Um, but I just didn't want to make videos when I was stuffy and pale and had a high fever, and I wouldn't even have known what I was going to say. So I didn't want to make videos and not be coherent. But hopefully I can be now. So... I'm going to do my menstrual cup cloth pads that I wore this month, and I actually wore more than I've ever worn. It's still not that many, but my flow is very light and very short, so I don't need to wear many, but I thought I'd show you what I wore. So, I talked about in my video, updated menstrual, no, oh, sorry, I'm so, I'm still kind of out of it, um, what, sorry, Tilted cervix update, and I mentioned that when I wore menstrual cups, I noticed that I was getting really nauseous, and I didn't feel as good on my period, and I wore cloth pads mainly. I wore my Natura cup, which is this one, a lot when I was, like, exercising or going out for the day, and I didn't want to worry about uh, a cup, I mean, sorry, a pad, I just wanted to have a cup in. I'm sorry, I don't sound... <laughs> I'm still not super coherent, but I hope this video will be nice and good. And I really didn't have that, the, like the day after my period and the two days after my period, feeling very nauseous and going to the bathroom a lot, and like, not going well down there. I didn't have that this time. And it was a really big improvement, and I didn't feel as nauseous or as uncomfortable. So I think I may have solved a problem. And I'm going to try it for another month and uh, just see how I feel. Because I don't mind wearing cloth pads, really. I don't love pads, you know, because there's something in your underwear and they're not, like, insanely comfortable. I mean, they're very, very comfortable. But if you could choose to have no pad on or a pad on, you'd probably pick not to have a pad on. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I just thought I'd show you what I wore this month that made my period a little bit less uncomfortable. And you can watch my Tilt of Cervix update when I talk about that. And... Things like that. So, for panty liners, I wore three panty liners. And these are all pads that I have to review. Um, this one is a some of this, some of that wingless panty liner. And like this fleece is super duper cool. I really like that fleece. And it kind of frayed, but that's okay. I'll just trim that off. Because it's just a zigzag stitch, it's not with a surge. And it stained a little bit, not too badly actually. But the blue dye of the fabric ran into the white polka dots, which is kind of sad. Um, so it's not high quality fabric. So, yeah, that's too bad. But then I wore this Eco Sewer flannel top PUL backed. This was cotton topped. Panty liner. And I, because it's summer, it's very warm. Flannel is okay. PUL is okay, but together it's just, it's a little warm, you know? So both these together with the PUL and the flannel, I found it very hot. Uh, so I probably won't be wearing this that much this summer, but it was really nice and narrow in the gusset. And it was just kind of nice and fluffy, uh, but I think I'll prefer this for like winter. Very nice though. And the flannel is super cute. And the PUL is a nice pink PUL with a small 16 cam throws. Then this Mama Jules Gems Panty Liner, which is not like a light day actually. Um, I don't love the print that much, but it's okay. You know, it's cute. So, when we're playing, like, family board games, we all wear it. I don't know. It has purple fleece in the back. That's how you tell her absorbency. Panty liners are purple. Black is regular, and red is heavy. And, you know, when you wear it, it has two snaps, which is really nice. I wear it in a small snap, snap setting. It's okay, but then you start to walk in it, and I don't know what it is. I still have to figure out what it is, and, like, it looks really nice. But it just starts to feel really kind of like rough or something is rubbing you. And Bert and I, when we review it, we'll figure out what it is. But it's not super comfortable to walk in. And so I ended up taking it off about half an hour after I put it on. But I think if I figure out the problem, I'll wear it a lot because it's really nice shape. I love the shape. So now for light days. There's only like two light pads I actually wore. But, you know, I really, all I needed was like light pads and handy liners. But it's, I didn't have that many of them to try out. So I didn't have anything to wear. So I was, I think I mentioned it in my period vlog, definitely, that I wore something went out to get ice cream. And I love it. It is so comfortable. So cool. I didn't feel hot or sticky or anything. 
Where did I freeze? <laughs> uh, it was just so comfortable. Now I think I do need an extra snap on it because it's a little droopy. Um, but once I add an extra snap, it'll be fine. Perfect. And I should have asked for one. But I like the shape and the cotton is super nice and breathable. And the fleece is really nice. It's starting to pill though. So I don't know. I don't really mind. But that's just something I noted. So it's Mama Jo's Gems fleece. And then this cotton backed P.U.L. inside and then maybe fleece. But this is cotton roller topped uh, cloth cycle. It's stained slightly. You can kind of see it, but you don't really need to. But anyways. Yeah, you can kind of see right there, but it's okay. It's a really hard color, you know, and I did scrub it, but I don't mind little stains, as long as it's not, like, huge red and everything. But this was, like, my favorite pad. It's so comfortable. I love the little larger flare in the back. You can make a little bigger. So comfortable. I wore this when I was taking a bike ride, and it was awesome. And this cotton velour, a little warmer than bamboo velour. A little warmer, but, like, so cool and breathable. It was awesome. I loved it. And the snaps didn't bother me. I really loved it. It was so nice. And this print is so cute. I have it in my shop on Etsy. And it's just one of my favorites. It was so nice and comfortable. And I love it. Then for moderate pads. Oh, this is actually a light to moderate. I still consider it light. But this, another Eco Sewer pad. Flannel top peel back with two snap settings. I wore it in the smaller snap setting. Pretty comfy, actually. Very fluffy, kind of bulky. Sorry, the door is like swaying back and forth. It's going to slam. Okay. So, I should fix that. But, a little warm. But, I don't prefer fluffy pads. I really prefer trim pads. But, this was very nice for a fluffy pad. It was very nice. So, the print is super cute. I just like it. It's really nice. But, I think it's going to be more of a fall pad. Could you close it or something? Hi, that's print. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, for more moderates, I wore a few moderates, so I need a few moderates. This again is another light to moderate, so I'll show that now. This was a Wings of Love cotton topped micro fleece backed pad. This pad was so cool, I did not feel hot. That's why I love micro fleece. It's so breathable. It's one of the most breathable fleeces and cotton. Um, but it is a wrap wing style pad, as you can kind of see, which I don't prefer. I prefer more like tab wing styles but you know for a wrap wing style this is the most wrap most comfortable wrap wing style pad I've worn in a while and this really pretty print with the gold snaps and this is so well constructed this is the pad that when people come over and they want to see a cloth menstrual pad I show them this one because it is just so beautiful I show this one to my doctor and she's like that is so pretty but she didn't say that first, so. yes anyway this is a micro blaze backed pad with flannel topped, and because it didn't have P.O.L. on it, it's micro fleece, it still was very, very readable. It did stain slightly. So this is a V, by the way, 7 inch moderate. And these 16 inch cam snaps, she marks it with a little M. Really nice wicking stitch. Like, I didn't feel wet when I wore this. And I wore this, like, for three hours. So, probably more like two or three, but yeah. I wore it for quite a while. I was a little worried, but I didn't need to be. It was completely covered here, though. So love this print. Even though it's flannel and I wore it on a hot day, I didn't feel hot. It's sticky at all. Uh, I don't know, I think it's the micro fleece. But yeah. It's not pilling, but it's getting kind of like fluffy and streaky, but I don't mind that at all. It's really held up well. Love that pad a lot. I love, I find that actually for my light flows, I like 8 inch pads. For moderates, I prefer 7 inches or 8 inches. Interesting. I find that because my moderate day is my like second day, I want to have a shorter pad. Because I'm doing more things. I don't know why. It's very interesting. This is why this is another one of my favorites. This is the cotton topped flat uh mega Uh the whole red seven and a half inch mutter pad. And it's Van Gogh's painting of irises. I don't know the actual name of his painting. I could look it up and I think I will actually after this video. But it's sewn really, really well. A little bit of a crooked straight stitch, but that's fine. Um it's super comfortable, super breathable. The flare comes out of my undies a little bit, but I don't mind that. It was so thin, and, like, I wore this on, like, the last day of my cycle. I didn't need it at all. I just didn't even need a panty liner, to be honest. But I wore it anyways, and I loved it. Just a little bit got on it. Didn't stain, because, like, you know, it's got like, some nice print right there, and it's perfect. 
I love this pad. I know she makes a non, not as flared as mine. So I think if I ordered from her, I probably would get her non flared one as much. But this is gorgeous and it's so thin. I mean, like, this is a tiny thin. It's a modern pad and it's like paper thin. Then I wore this cute and simple flannel topped, flannel backed with PUL at the wings. Uh, cute and simple pad. It's a moderate pad. It has absorb in it. And really cute stitching. I like this shape. It was a little bit f like fluffier, you know, and it was pretty warm because it was flannel and PUL. But, you know, to be honest, I don't mind it that much. I just wore it for about an hour, and it's a really cute apple print, which I love. I love apples. So, yeah. I like that one a lot, actually. She's not that well known, but she should be. Her sewing is flawless. It's amazing. Then I had, wore this diaper cotton flannel inner core Rump Raves uh, trade pad. We traded for this. Micro fleece backed, cotton topped. I'm not going to show it to you closely because it has, it's stained quite badly. But uh, it's really, really thin. That's the thinnest pad, moderate pad that I own. And it has some nice, it has two snaps. Micro fleece. I couldn't even feel I was wearing this. It was so thin, so breathable. It was amazing. I loved it so much. And it's definitely a pad I'm going to go back to wear. It's awesome. This is actually a moderate pad, but I wore it as a heavy pad one night. And I didn't even get anything on it. Like, I wore it on my heaviest night, and nothing got on it, because I don't bleed at night. But I wore it anyways. And it's very thick. It's an aunt flow. Not thick, as in, like, thick. It's actually very thin. But it's very wide and very fluffy feeling. It has some nice tag wings. As you can see, though, it's just enormously wide. But it's okay, actually, because... It's, if it's an overnight pad, it's okay because it's kind of like, kind of bunches up inside and you can just, it's very fluffy. It gives you great protection, let me just tell you that. And I felt like I was wearing a diaper. <laughs> but it was nice. It was very nice. But something went wrong here. Like, the PUL and the flannel on the back are fine. But the top flannel, like, I don't know if the core shrunk or something. But, like, all the stitching around the core has, like, gotten all, like, gathered. Like, did the thread shrink? I don't know. But the back is fine. But it's all fluffy now because the front's, like, not as long and as tall. It's actually shrunk quite a bit. But, like, it stayed in shape because the back has. But, it, like, it wants to curl this way. Which is fine by me because once it's in your undies, this is fine because it's not bunchy. Which is interesting. I really do like it. So, I think if I ever have a kid, postpartum pads, I'll definitely be getting her 13-inch postpartum pads. They're, they should be great. Then I just wore this uh, interlabial leaf by Ladies Creek Boutique, which I really liked. I actually, I'm not a gusher, so I didn't really do it then. But I wore it once I got out of the tub because I, you know, because you don't believe when you're in the water, you get like a gush, and that's embarrassing. You don't want to gush when you're in the tub and the water's draining, and then you have to like scrub out the tub, and that's really embarrassing. I was just standing there once, and I didn't realize I was going to gush, and I just looked down, and I was like in this puddle of blood. Anyway. So, I put this in there. Once I got out of the tub, I just kind of slipped it in between my labia, and it got quite a bit on it, but, like, it was great, because I didn't have to, like, ruin a washcloth, and that's no fun, because that's, no, you don't, I could have one dedicated to, like, that, but that would just be kind of gross, you know? So this is perfect for it. And, you know, it just sits in between your labia, like, so. It just kind of, like, gives you great little, just for, like, drippage, you know. And it was awesome. And then I wore three menstrual cups. I only wore my organic cup once, but that was great. And then I only wore this overnight twice, but it's my small South Luna cup. And then I wore this quite a bit. Uh, it was my Nature cup. And I really liked it a lot. And I was very with it. I'll be doing a review of that soon. So that's what I wore. I wore 13 or 14 pads and three cups, one inch labia leaf, and my period was about four or five days long. And so yeah. So I had one light day, one medium day, and one light day, basically. Two light days, one medium day, and another light day. So yeah, that was my cycle. It was pretty basic. And I will be giving you another, another update on my tilted cervix. And it's going to become not tilted cervix because it doesn't really have anything to do with tilted cervixes anymore. That's okay. 
So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I will be trying to upload videos more frequently now that I'm feeling a little better. And I thank you for being patient about videos. And I know it wasn't easy to wait. And I don't like when people don't make videos and I'm like waiting for videos. I'm really sorry and I will be making more videos soon in the future. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos in the future because there will be many videos going up soon. So bye!